In this video we're going to be taking a look at Support Candy, a ticketing service that you can use for free on your WordPress website. It works fantastically, it's got everything from email notifications, um, ticketing system, sign in and sign out, everything's there. So let's get into it. Using this plugin you're going to be able to get your full list of tickets as an admin or a user, create a new ticket easily, assign and create different agents, and customise everything from your support agents, custom fields, your ticket lists and your email notifications. So let's get started right from the start and let's go ahead and install. If you go over to search plugins, we're gonna search for support candy. That's all in one word. And we're gonna go over to the support candy help desk and support ticket system. Go ahead, install and then activate once it shows. Once activated, it's then going to show on the left hand side. If you hover over it, you're also gonna get all the categories of your support area. Everything is highly automated and it's pretty much gonna have set you up a default ticket list and ticket area already. Go over to your settings. Here's gonna be where we're gonna get all of the settings to make sure that the tickets work for you. From your general settings, you can change things such as your ticket status, what happens after certain events, who's allowed to close tickets, create tickets. However, this is usually set up pretty well as default unless you want to change anything to customize it. Next over to page settings. This is going to be an important one because you're gonna need a support page for your tickets to show. If you don't have any pages, come over to the pages area and then go to add new page. Go ahead and publish your page to be able to add your support page too. If you go to your page settings again and start to type in the page name, you're gonna find it right there. The same goes for your open ticket page. You can create a new page, publish it, come over to your open ticket page and then type in the page, select it once it shows. Your ticket URL and new ticket page is set as default to the support page, however you can change this. Another option is the used in URL. It's gonna be different depending on what plugins you use or if you have memberships, something like Hivepress. But here you're gonna get the options, so whether it's default, WP default login or custom. If you click on custom, you can also add your custom login page. Usually default will find your default login page area. Choose whether you want the user to be able to register through your support page or whether it's simply just a sign-in process. Leave the OTP login as enabled and load script as all pages. Make sure to submit once you're happy. In your file attachments area, you can choose the maximum size for file attachments and also the allowed extensions. For instance, if you only want JPEG, you can take out all of these and simply leave JPEG or comma separate them and add whatever extensions you need. Thirdly, choose your download behavior. Try opening a browser or download it. I suggest try opening a browser to save you downloading anything malicious. And your thank you page. This can either be a thank you text, a thank you page URL or opening a ticket. You can customize this for changing the thank you text to the agent, the customer, and of course, make sure to submit it once you're finished. Your ticket categories are important because this is what users are gonna use when they have to create a ticket, they're gonna be shown a category. You can add such categories as support and choose whether it loads after the end, the top, or in general. As you can see, we now have general and support. Add as many categories as you see fit or that you need for your site. Ticket status is just gonna show the ticket status, whether it's open, awaiting customer reply, awaiting agent reply, or closed. You can edit this as you see fit. The same is with the ticket priorities, whether it's low, medium, or high. It's pretty much um, an old fashioned, but great usable ticket system because it's got everything that you need. And it's highly customizable. On miscellaneous, you can add your terms and conditions, stuff like GTPR, and also adding your recapture, which is very important to stop spam and bots. Choose your recapture version, go over to Google Recapture Console, create one for this site, and then add in your secret key and your site key, and then submit. We're not gonna go through all the features in the advanced section, however, it's got lots of different customization options which you can choose. Next, your ticket status, where you can choose and save the order of how the ticket's going to appear. First, it's gonna be, or as the default, it comes as a ticket status, customer, ticket information, assignee. However, you can change the order of any of these just by simply dragging and dropping. Hit save order once you're happy. Under the rich text editor, you can choose what sort of editor the agent has, the registered user, a guest user, and of course the advanced options. This allows things such as allow attachments, whether the rich text editor is enabled. The same goes for the registered user and the guest user. It's usually quite well configured. However, this is how you customize it if you want to make any changes. I mean, you can really go in and customize this, whether they can choose to write right to left, whether they can create a numbered list. Maybe the only one to look out for is links so you don't get malicious links added. However, you can disable HTML pasting from the advanced section. You also get a great working hours area. Here you can add in your working hours in case agents only work certain hours in your business or your website. You can also add holidays in the calendar, add new exceptions to the holidays or working hours, 
and in the settings you can choose whether to allow an agent to modify working hours or allow an agent to modify his leaves. This could be if you're an administrator and you don't want all of your agents just being able to change their hours. Over to appearance and we can change the primary color, menu color, the link color, uh, ticket list, it's all extremely customizable, we're not going to go through every single option. As you can see it comes as a default but you, you pretty much can change everything. I mean we're talking the footer, the header, Finally, we're over to ticket tabs and the settings, and here you can again choose the colors. And if you made any mistakes, you can always reset back to default. After that, we're going to head on to the email notifications. Here is going to be, of course, where you add in your, uh, you know, who your email is from, your from name, your from email, importantly, and make sure that you have your mailing system set up with something like WP SMTP. You can use a free one such as Brevo, which will then make your mailing system work. If not, you can also use stuff like MailPoet, and that will also give you your own mailing system, you know, so your actual mailing works in itself. So when the ticket system uses it, it can use that. Again, very highly customizable. You can go for your ticket notifications, change all of them, enable them, clone them, disable them. Same goes with your user one-time password and guest login OTP as well. We don't have any customers yet, however they will show in your customers list once they have created a ticket and then we can head down to support agents. Your top agents tab will show all your agents, agent roles will be the different agent roles that you've created and you can add new or edit the existing ones. You can also assign working hours to specific agents which is extremely useful, especially if you've got one person working in the day and then one person working in the night. And also your leaves so you can also check them on the calendar. Custom fields will of course give you extra customization for each one of your tickets, whether it be your ticket fields, customer fields, or agent only fields. We're not going to go fully over this, otherwise, the tutorial would last for hours. However, for a ticket field, and you know, for an example, if you want to create a ticket field or a new one, we can come over to add new, or of course, edit one of the existing ones. But I'm going to come to add new. From here, add a label to the ticket. This is so you also know what it is showing you where the current things are loaded so you can load it right at the end you can load it in between something there or right at the top finally select the field that you want to add and then add in the relevant data for that field this will be for your tickets when somebody's creating a ticket and they have different areas they have to fill out finally if you just click on tickets along the top it's going to take you to the current tickets this is going to be viewed to you as an administrator but we can also now view this on the front page now to go ahead and use your support ticket system or check it out come over to your pages go over to your support page and click edit here you're going to need to add the short code support candy all in one word with a square brackets and that's going to be in a short code block. So one of these ones. Once happy update and go ahead to the page. And we're now here on the live page. This pretty much once you've set it up and you know change your settings will set everything up for you so everything's ready to go from your ticket list, a new ticket, my profile, agent profile, log in and log out and tickets will also be shown here. So let's go ahead and create a new ticket. In this case, I'm going to have to select the customer for the ticket because I'm creating it myself. I'm going to add a subject here. I'm just going to put test, test description as well. Choose category, which we created earlier. This is, of course, where you're going to want to think about the categories and get the right ones down for your specific site or business. And then check whatever the options you've left on from your settings. Go ahead and submit the ticket. Once submitted, it will do whatever you chose to in the settings earlier. We just chose to have a thank you message and it also gives you the link to the ticket section so you can then, you know, reply back or check for replies. However, again, this is fully customizable we could have also sent them to a different url had you chosen that you can now go to the back end and check the tickets but you can also do it from the front end even as an admin as long as you're logged into your right account so to do this let's go to ticket list and we're going to see that we have an open ticket right here you can do things like select the ticket go to bulk actions change your status assign to agents or delete or you can go and click on the ticket itself up here you can view the ticket details reply back or submit as yourself or as different agent you can refresh close duplicate you know it's pretty much an original but great system with all the options that you need for a ticket system it also hooks up very well with whatever you're using to sign in and sign out of your wordpress you know depending on your other plugin and it's an all-around great feature to add to your site 